notice the carry men are wearing black armbands as a mark of respect of the great Bob Stack, one of the great Kerry footballers of bygone days who died this week. Dublin posing for their picture. On the right there at the back is Bobby Doyle and just getting up on the near side, Gay O'Driscoll. Number eight going away there, Brian Mullins. Dublin in the blue and the green and gold and Bernard Brogan for Brian Mullins. Dublin picking out the scores from out the field. Brian Mullins, the scorer. Over towards brother Brendan. Brendan taps it down and it's Pat McCarthy now. Up to Brendan Lynch. A lovely shot by Brendan. Oh, a delightful point by Brendan Lynch. Being chased by Ger Power. Out on the far side, Bernard Brogan gone up for it. A lovely, easy point. But whether he's going to try this or not, I don't know. No, he just satisfied to get it into the right parish. And the parish is the hands of Pat Spillane. And it's over the bar. Another point for Kerry. Tony Hanno, switching the Dublin team. We'll tell you about it in a moment. Anton O'Toole, Joe Power after him. That's Tommy Drum who got it up there. David Hickey. Bobby Doyle, David Hickey. Still David Hickey on the 14-yard line across the front of the goal. It's a goal! <laughs> Bernard Brogan to David Hickey to Brian Mullins. Out comes Jimmy Deanahan. John McCarthy. And the referee has blown his whistle and it is a penalty for Dublin. Not since 1962 has a penalty been scored in an All-Ireland football final. Jimmy Keaveney now trying to make history, Charlie Nelligan trying to stop him from doing so. Don Feeney of Roscommon way back in 62. Here's Jimmy now. Claudio O'Shea going up into the attack. David Hickey after him. Mickey O'Sullivan. Pat Spillane. And Pat steadies himself and sends it over the bar. And now there are only three points between them. Pat Spillane, the scorer of that one. Run into there by Sean Walsh. And I'm just wondering just who is going to last the pace the better. This is David Hickey. To Anton O'Toole. Ger Power tries to save him, but uh, Anton goes through him. This is uh, Brian Mullins, and it's another goal! Another goal for Dublin! Brian Mullins, the scorer! Pushed by Jimmy Keaveney, and a free out for the Kingdom. Quickly taken to Tim Kennedy, and look at him. Aided there by Ogie Moran. Look at Ogie move. Still Ogie, John Egan. And Kevin Moran. Kevin Moran's kick knocked down by Ogie Moran. And Ogie sends it over the bar, narrowing the gap. A little bit nervy coming on, but getting the ball to Brian Mullins. And Anton O'Toole. And the point. Point scored by Anton O'Toole from a pass by Brian Mullins. We're coming up to the final whistle and Dublin are all Ireland champions of 1976. And they fully merited the victory and look at that for excitement on the hill. Three goals and eight points for Dublin, ten points for Kerry. And the Jacks are well and truly back. Tony Hanahal receiving the cup now as Paddy Cullen holds Paddy Cullen Jr. high just as uh, Tony Hanahal holds the Sam Maguire Cup high and what an eye he's got. Well, the build-up to replays is always different, that much we know, but the setting is absolutely spectacular on a beautiful, beautiful evening here in Dublin. Hope it's as nice wherever you are. Everybody now just waiting to get it underway.
in charge again and the match gets underway and straight away there's a punch down that time by Brian Fenton to try and get Dublin on their way and get the first possession Niall Scully firing it down here as far as Carl O'Callaghan turning back inside now onto his left looking for the opening score and getting it after about 17 seconds down as far as James McCarthy kicking it in quickly and early collected in his stride here by Niall Scully checking been marked by Brian O'Bagley back out it comes to Paul Mannion Mannion looking to get off to a very very good start three attacks by Dublin free kick and the referee bringing the free kick up to the Dublin 65 metre line David Moran in there as far as David Clifford a point scorer already off his left up and over the bar and Kerry are beginning to eat into Dublin's lead darts forward again here Gavin Crowley goes goal side of him waiting for a, an obvious pass there was none coming so he confidently kicked it himself and he's kicked a third Johnny Cooper back out as far as Kieran Kilkenny and that ball's given away badly to Paul Murphy Murphy with Kerry racing forward and a point behind looking to try and level up the match now with about 90 seconds to go in the opening half there's a man loose on the right hand side as Paul Ganey carries it forward he had an option doesn't need the option he kicks it up and over the bar a third point of the match for Paul Ganey brilliantly done it's been a wonderful opening half to the replayed All-Ireland Football Final and here at the break it's honours even it's Dublin 10 points Kerry 10 points and in this uh, decade of the Dubs it's their ninth final match in since 2011 he's been involved in quite a few they've ultimately won six drawing two and winning four of their six by a solitary point both sides would settle for a solitary point win here it's Owen Merchant bursting forward immediately Moran trying to catch up with him Merchant still going what a goal what a goal his first ever time to score anything in the championship the second half surge it seems has begun bursting forward here but, uh, keeping tabs on him the whole time Brian Fenton back to Ganey again three points in the first half very good contribution by Paul Ganey measures it beautifully up and over get, get their play back in and bring it back level and here they are again right back in it and challenging that kick out there it was Barry who got to it but it's Dublin who managed to get the ball back and it's Dermot Connolly nice ball down, brilliant ball down to Kilkenny great delivery and that will be a lovely point well what a, a moment this is for Jim Gavin he has never lost a championship match against Kerry he has a 90% success rate with Dublin in championship football they appreciate what he has done when you remember that they lost badly in 2009 10 years ago to Kerry who could have foreseen at that stage that this would be the decade of the Dubs well they will rue some of their misses because there have been eight six rides in all by Kerry Stephen O'Brien getting away from Scully still O'Brien is on an advantage he's still going he's still going stopped by Cluxton the referee gave him the opportunity and once again it's Stephen Cluxton the leading goalkeeping exponent in Gaelic football who produces the stop nice ball ahead there by James McCarthy nice precise ball to Connolly back it comes McManaman he'd like to score they all would Dean Rock is going to two for him some performance holding possession David Moran the final whistle it's all over Jim Gavin Jason Sherlock embrace Dublin are the history makers it's taken them two games but they're all Ireland champions for the fifth year in a row Champions, really the invincible All Ireland winners for 2019.